what's up guys so um i just got to the nail place and the good thing about it is it don't look packed in there from the outside but as soon as you walk in things are deceiving so i won't know until i walk in there my last video got deleted because of freaking copyright from like i guess when i was at the um, the crap place and the music were playing in the background or whatever so my clip was too long with the music which i understand so that video got deleted but you know what it's all good just gotta keep moving forward so yes i'm about to go get my nails done because they're hideous and then after that who knows i'm alone yes i'm by myself the drive wasn't too bad today actually so i don't know Good morning so it is the next day i'm getting ready to go on a run slash walk because i'm trying to continue to lose weight um so it is 9 1 in the morning and it is already 89 degrees outside so it's pretty hot so i'm about to go out here and try to do something so let's go guys let me tell y'all something i do not recommend anybody to go walk on fort erwin if it's eight o'clock or after i went to go walk at 901 and i almost didn't make it like i was like okay i need to I, my plan was to run but then when I walked outside, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Because if I run, I'm going to fall out. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to walk two miles. <clears throat> I got to walking. Everything was good. But then the sun just kept, like, telling me to turn around and go back home. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go to the one-mile mark. And then I'm going to turn around, and that'll be two miles. So I kept walking, 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 walking. Took me forever to get to one mile. So I said, okay. So I went on like, the, there's this road like behind, like my road kind of, I just figured it out. So I was walking on another road and I was like, I wonder if I can see my house from here. So I was walking, 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 walking. I seen this little trail. I didn't know where the trail was going in the back. So I put on my maps and I was like, okay, let me figure out where I'm at. So I could see like the road beside mine, but I didn't know if it was like my road in the middle. I seen the names of the other roads. So I was like, let's just take a risk. <sighs> Lo and behold, y'all, I ended up on my road through that back trail. I was so excited. I didn't even get to two miles. I got to like one and a half mile because of the sun. So I may go back and run later, May when the sun goes down but for now i'm like over it the sun won porsche zero like i'm just like done that lets me know that i cannot walk or run in um anything over 60 degrees honey because i'm gonna be on the side of the road and nobody would have known nothing i just would have been laid out there Good morning, guys. <laughs> it is Friday. Sorry, it's a window behind me, so you probably can't see me because of the window. But it's Friday. We are currently off, me, Swanee, and <laughs> Millie. So we are currently at Big Bear Diner. Oh, back <laughs> Black Bear Diner. <laughs> It's really cool because they um they have newspapers as their menu, so this is pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to get. Swanee don't want breakfast. I don't know if I want breakfast. What are you going to get? Breakfast for sure. So we'll figure it out. Okay, guys. 
So I got biscuit, chicken fried steak, scrambled eggs, cheese, hash browns right here. And I didn't know it came with a watermelon. I don't know what's up with that. So I need got fried chicken, french fries, watermelon. Oh, that looks so good. Mills got bacon, hash browns, eggs, watermelon, and a pancake. <coughs> So we're about to see how this tastes and we'll be back. All right guys, so we finished our food. Let me just tell y'all that the plates were clean. That's how hungry we were. <laughs> like the food was good and we were starving. So we kind of overstuffed ourselves because we were that hungry, but it's all good. Yeah, now we we're heading there. to Big Bear. And once we get there, I will show you guys the scenery. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see like the desert part. So once we actually get there, I will show you guys a little bit more. They said it's nice. This is my first time going. They said it looks really nice. So we will see how it looks. How you feel, Swanee? Good. Swanee back there taking selfies and then she probably gonna be asleep. But I'm about to be asleep too. <laughs> and that's just gonna be what it is. It takes two hours, right? An hour and five minutes to get to So it's not that it's bad. So I'm excited. We're not gonna be there that long because we got a lot to do today actually. We got a farewell tonight. So we gotta come back to Barstow. Drive back to post, come back to Barstow. So a long day. This is America. Don't get you slipping no. Don't catch you slipping now. Look what I'm whipping now. This is America. Don't catch you slipping now. Don't catch you slipping now. Look what I'm whipping now. This is America. Okay, guys, we made it to Big Bear. We're walking right now. Huh? The village. We're in the village part. Walking around. Sun is shining. We are about to go get some ice cream and then we're going to explore a little bit. See what else we can see. Like I said, this is me and Swanee's first time being here, so. <laughs> we'll see what we can find. DC one <laughs> we had a great time we had many plans that we could not fulfill but it was great um, we have inside things that we talk about every day you know but Perry is 
a great asset to the team. So I can say that and I truly believe that because Perry Hill, DC won down by himself for a long time. Uh, he moved DC one to Shuttlesworth by himself. Um, so you will truly be missed. They're gaining a great soldier. Work-wise, I swear, you are a hard worker. I mean, we just running four chairs. Nobody can do it like Perry. We call him in early, we, we just chill. So I will definitely miss him as a friend and a soldier. Oh. He's a great person to be around. And I just want him to know that he's going to have a great time at uh, <laughs> Wow, this is um, this is surreal for me. I've been here since October 2014, so almost four years. So I've seen a lot of people come and go over my time here. Pretty much, I'm the last one. This is the only one not going. I just want to thank everyone for coming out. It means a lot to me. Um, wow. Um, this clinic. It's my first duty station. It's, it's it's been a great ride. Like I've had my problems, and I've, I've had a lot of good, a lot of great times here. With all the people I got to meet.